Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Rucker Explore R Gore-Tex jacket. This is Rucker's adventure style jacket with a top grade Gore-Tex laminated outer shell, a full set of very impressive impact armour and also a high level of ventilation. If you're deciding which of Rucker's jackets is for you, then this is one of their tougher jackets. The ventilation stands out over similar items in their range and you'll also get large waterproof cargo pockets that some similar Rucker jackets just don't have. The Explorer's outer shell is a layer of abrasion resistant Cordura with a three layer Gore-Tex membrane laminated to it, which in my opinion is the gold standard for rain protection. Having it laminated to the outer shell means the jacket will soak up less water and it will also dry out quicker after a wet ride. The three layer construction for Gore-Tex is the meatiest available and that means the weather protection does come at a price. It's a little bit stiffer than other similar jackets. Any three layer Gore-Tex laminated garment like this is always on the stiff side. It will break in over time, but at first a laminated Gore-Tex Pro jacket like this does feel very robust. Accordion stretch panels behind the shoulders help and there are also stretch sections from armpit to elbow to give more flexibility. To give the Explorer even more heft, there are super thick 1500 denier Cordura overlays at the shoulders and also the elbows. These are the key impact areas and they help this jacket get an overall CE safety rating of AA, which is the middle of the three pass levels. The benefits of having the membrane and the shell laminated together go beyond wet weather protection as well. Opening up the vents creates gaps in the membrane's coverage which allows more air to flow directly through to the inside of the jacket. There are loads of vents on the Explorer. They come in pairs at the chest, the collarbones, the bicep, the tricep, the back and there are also vented pleats at the hips. They work well in my experience of this jacket allowing a good flow of air as I rode on a Suzuki V-Strom 800DE. Now this bit might seem blindingly obvious, but those vents need to be completely closed to keep the jacket waterproof. As well as vents, there are fit adjusters. You get press studs above and below each elbow. There's a waist belt, and then those hip pleats can also be used as adjusters. It's best not to rely on those pleats too much though, because opening those separates the liner and it creates a gap in the waterproofing. The fastener for the jacket is simple, but very, very effective. It's a sealed main zip with a narrow storm flap over the top, which then fastens down with a press stud at the base. Behind that zip, there's a wide gutted storm flap. So if any water does get through the zip, that will then channel the water towards the bottom of the jacket. It's a simple setup, but Rucker have it on several of their jackets and I've always found it to be very effective and easy to use. The collar is like the majority of Rucker's collars. It fastens with Velcro and then there's a patch of reverse Velcro on the underside of the tab itself. That lets you fold the tab over to stop it sticking to your helmet liner. There's a tall neoprene trim around the top of the collar, which gives a very effective seal against wind and rain. Rucker's collars in general are higher than most and it takes some getting used to, but it is hard to argue with how effective this design is for staying warm and dry. And when the weather gets really foul, you can pull an extra storm gaiter out of the collar roll and then wrap that around your neck before you put in your lid over the top. This then gives you an even more secure seal to keep out wind and rain. The cuffs on this jacket are great for people who want the best protection against rain, but impatient people are often less impressed by the design. You undo the external zip, roll back the outer sleeve, and then you can see the inner cuff, which is more close fitting. So you put your glove over this, then roll the sleeve over the top, zip it up, and you're done. So now rain rolls down your sleeve and onto the glove rather than into the glove. And then when your glove gets wet and that water then reaches the top of the glove, the inner cuff provides a barrier to stop your clothes underneath the jacket getting wet. It does take a bit of extra time to sort that out before a ride than on a basic Velcro cuff, but believe me, it's worth it when you've got a long ride ahead of you in the rain. So pocket fans, listen up. There are five on the outside of the Explorer. The two lower pockets on the front have got loads of room and they close with zips and then fold over flaps that secure with press studs. They're both marked as water resistant. Essentially, that means they're waterproof as long as you have those fasteners closed properly. It's the same story for the lower back pocket, which you get to from the side, and that's also marked as water resistant. There are two exterior chest pockets as well, just here, which have fold over press stud closures. Rucker deliberately marked these as being not water resistant, but they are lined with Gore-Tex, so the vulnerability will be that closure. I think you'd be unlucky if stuff in those pockets got wet, but if Rucker aren't confident enough to call them water resistant, then I'm not confident enough to put my phone in there if it's raining. Okay, let's look at the inside of the jacket. We're straight into the meat of it with this one because there's no thermal liner supplied with the Explore R. That leaves you free to put whatever you want to wear underneath this jacket to help you stay warm, obviously as long as you've left room for that when you're sizing it up in the first place. There are no internal storage pockets because the normal locations that Rucker use for internal pockets are filled with armor. These are chest protectors, they're D3O inserts and they meet the basic level one of the CE standard. 
It's a full set of armor in the Explorer. The shoulder and elbow protection meets the higher level two of the CE standard, and it's absolutely massive stuff that offers a lot wider coverage than normal armor. The back protector is also very substantial, and that meets the higher level two of CE as well. The armor overall is brilliant, but I found the lack of interior pocket somewhere where I could put my phone to be a bit of a loss. I don't really like having bulkier stuff like phones and wallets in pockets at the waist, but if it's raining, then there's not really any other choice as these are the water resistant pockets. There are Rucker's usual choices for stopping the jacket from riding up, which is a crotch strap or a zip. The strap starts at the back of the jacket, feeds between your legs, and then connects to the plastic loop at the front of the jacket. The connecting zip is long and that will attach to Rucker trousers. Any Rucker trousers will connect, but if you want the matching pair that go with this jacket, they're also called the Explorer. They're made from the same materials, they've got the same high grade armour, and they have braces to help them stay up. A pair of those cost £1,015 at the moment, so add those to the jacket, which is £1,330. It's £2,345 for the combination. So let's cover sizing as well. This jacket comes in a range from a 36 inch chest up to a 50 inch chest. I find that Rucker jackets come up a little bit on the large side and I went down a size from my usual. I normally wear a 40 inch jacket, but I was perfectly comfortable in this 38 inch size in this jacket and still had room for a thermal layer underneath. Okay, so my take on the Rucker Explorer. It has great rain protection, good venting, and is typically high in build quality. It kept me dry when it rained, and also comfortable in 12 degrees Celsius when I wore a windproof fleece underneath. I would like an internal pocket, or at least a higher external pocket that's waterproof, but maybe that's just my personal issue. As with most Rucker jackets, this is a big outlay for bike kit, but it's also a serious proposition. A kit like this with the three layer Gore-Tex membrane laminated to the outer shell is really for riders who need serious kit. And in my experience, this is the best style of construction for people who ride in the rain a lot. If you're someone who rides in the cold frequently enough, then I'd suggest taking a look as well at our review of Rucker's Navala 2 before jumping in and getting an Explorer. Much of the construction for that jacket is the same, but the Navala 2 comes with an impressive down under jacket that will be helpful if you're riding in the cold. One of those under jackets is usually 200 quid in its own right, but the Navala 2 is only 60 pounds more than this jacket and you get that down liner included. You'll be getting more flexibility as well with the Navala 2 because it's made from stretch cordura, but you will be sacrificing a little toughness. And the Navala 2 has a single A rating under CE, whereas this jacket is double A rated. Also, that whole range of Navala 2 jackets is predominantly black, where the Explorer has at least this light grey option. That will appeal to people who feel a lighter colour will stand out better on the roads or maybe some people think it will reflect light and not get as hot in the height of summer. Whether it's the Navala 2 or this Explorer that you go for, when you wear a jacket like this, you know it means business. Something else that also a lot of serious riders think about is Rucker's warranty. If you register with Rucker to get the full term, then it's a six year warranty to cover manufacturing defects. It is a lot of money to go for a jacket like this, but if you give your bike kit a hard time, then something like this is very likely to cope easily with that. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Rucker Explore R, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.